Hi, in this video I wanted to show what's new in the Group Pro. So when you press Ctrl X and uh, increase the dissolve depth, you will see now in the outliner the dissolved objects create hierarchy. In the past you would just get one long list of objects, but uh, this way it is now easier to work with uh, dissolved objects. The second feature I wanted to show, I will undo everything we have. We have now the linear array and uh, we have also option for the radial array. Uh, so yeah, those are the two new features I wanted to show. Uh, now I will explain how to use those if you want to stick around. Uh, okay, so by default you cannot add any modifiers to the group object because this is just empty and empty does not support modifiers. Uh, what the add-on uh, does, it will replace the empty with uh, mesh and if I show you, this mesh now has this group modifiers, the old uh, modifier that is creating all the instances. Uh, so let's run, run, this, run this one more time, but this time slower. So you press X, modifiers, ladier, array, array, then move those empties, the first object connected with green line will define the orientation of all other instances. So if I move this to the left, all the ships are facing to the center. If I move this to the right, all the ships are facing uh, to, the, uh, to the outside. And uh, this is basically because the ship was facing uh, to the right from the beginning. So that's why this is now facing to the right and then it is rotated like so. Uh, so at any time you can adjust the radial array, just run this operation again. You can move this, hold control now and scroll. And uh, at any time you can press G to move this again, then left click to accept. Uh, so uh, the dissolve now also will work off on those type of objects. So, but you lose now ability to edit uh, the radial array. I will undo until we have this uh, collection. And uh, sometimes, I'm not sure why, but uh, the selection is lost, ability to select the group. It is because Blender undo does not work at base. In the order, it should undo the selection locking, but well, Let's say we want to edit the group object, but if you tap into edit mode, you won't be able to do anything because this mesh is just a mesh without any vertices. To edit the actual objects, you will go Control X, edit array object. Now, if I edit this group object, you will see we have ability to edit this instance object. I can close this X to remove and continue working on like so. Uh, so let's say I will edit array object, remove the array, and if I move the viewport to the right, uh, let's run linear array. You see now we have different orientation of the array. And if we want to maybe align the array to some custom uh, rotation, so let's say we have this plane, and uh, we want to align the radial array to this plane. Uh, the way to do this would be to enable snapping to vertex, align rotation to target. Let's now move this and snap to the center, scale, rotate like so. And let's try to run radial array. And this is not what we wanted. It is because uh, the currently radial array is using the global orientation and you can switch to local orientation and now it will use the local object axis for ladier radial array. So you see you, have, you can hold control to snap to one of those verts, left click to accept, control scroll to add more instances. And here, yeah, left click to accept. So uh, this is how you align the radial array to any surface. Uh, okay, so I will edit the object, Alt G, Alt R and Alt S to reset this transformation. Now let's jump maybe to the linear array. 
it works in the similar fashion as radial array. Just left click and move this to position, then control scroll to add more instances. And it also has this offset mode. If I press X, it will now move the instances after the first one. So you can toggle the behavior with the X key. And then I can left click to accept. So the instances are not perfectly aligned to the X axis. Let's say we want to fix that, fix that. In my case, I will switch to the absolute grid snapping. Let's run the linear array. Hold control to snap to the X axis. Looks okay. Enter to accept. And from the top, we can repeat the same step. Radial, uh, my bad. Let's run the linear array. Hold control. And we have this perfectly aligned to the uh, to the x-axis so you can dissolve this just like a radial array you can edit the array object so this will link the original object to the scene you can click this object and close uh, and uh, this i made it so that it will work not only on the groups it will also work on the uh, nmesh so i can run this like so and uh, you are not limited to only groups and if I dissolve this, it will just create a bunch of Suzannes. And you can combine those together. So let's say we have this radial array object. I can run the... We have the linear array. I can add radial array on top. And uh, yeah, that's good. I think that covers everything I wanted to show about the uh, new features. Hope you like them and uh, see ya.